Hi, my gems. If you're watching this video, that means that you have chosen to do the clinometer activity where it is finding the unknown height of an object uh, using a clinometer. And so I'm just going to show you how to use the clinometer today um, and how to set up the problem. So what you're going to do is you're going to choose one item that is obviously taller than you. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to choose this um, cabinet over here. And so I'm going to determine what the height is of my cabinet using a clinometer and using a tape measure. So the first thing you're gonna do is using your tape measure, you're going to pick a spot to stand to look up to the top of your object and you're gonna measure the distance you are from the bottom of your object. So I'm going to measure my distance and you can use feet, you can use inches, whatever your heart desires. Um, and so I'm gonna use feet. And so I'm gonna stand right here with my toes at six feet. Now, when I'm standing there at my toes with six feet, I'm now gonna take my clinometer. And so to look through the clinometer, what you're gonna do, is you're gonna hold it in your right hand. And then this part that has the bar needs to be to your right side, okay? You're gonna look through, there's a small opening right here. And as you look through, oh, you can kind of see, look how cool this is, what a good phone. Um, you can kind of see that there are numbers in there. That's gonna give you your angle of elevation. So remember, elevation means you're standing at the bottom, you're looking up to the top of your figure, that's gonna give me my angle. So I'm gonna stand over here at the uh, six feet mark. Again, I'm gonna make sure the bar is on the right side. I'm gonna take my figure, I'm gonna look up to the very top of the um, cabinet here, and it looks like it is uh, 16 degrees. So my angle of elevation is 16 degrees. So now I've got the base, right, with six feet. I've got my angle of elevation, which was the 16 degrees, and now I can solve for the unknown height. However, because I was not on the ground, my angle of elevation does not start down here. My angle of elevation actually starts where my eye level is. So what I'm gonna have to do is add my height from the floor to my eyes. So you're gonna hopefully have a friend to help you out with this because otherwise it's gonna be very difficult. We're gonna try our best right now. So if I go to where my eye height is, where my pupil is, it looks like it's five foot four, maybe five foot four and a half, I don't know. It was very difficult by myself, but you'll have a partner hopefully helping you out, telling you what you are. So it looks like five foot four. So when I do my problem, I'm gonna to have to add the five foot four to the height over here and that's gonna be added then when I try to solve for this unknown height over here. So remember, I was six feet away. I have to add in my um, five foot four height. My angle of elevation was 16 degrees and now I can solve for that side over there, which is actually my opposite side, right? Because it's across from my angle of elevation. So hopefully that helped you out. Good luck, give it a try and have some fun.